The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare the cremaster muscle to study the living microcirculation of an anesthetized male mouse. This surgery begins with an incision on the ventral surface of the scrotum, once shaved. The next step is to clear and separate the cremaster muscle from the surrounding tissue. Then, an orchiectomy is performed and the tissue is spread radially across the surface of a transparent pedestal. This preparation can be viewed by microscopy to image the microcirculation within the cremaster muscle. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show how blood flow and oxygen delivery are actually controlled in living systems during health, in disease models, and in response to experimental manipulations. This method can be used to answer basic questions in cardiovascular medical research with an emphasis on the microcirculation. In particular, how blood flow and oxygen delivery can be regulated at the cellular level in the intact system. Though this method can provide insight into the in vivo function of the mouse microcirculation, it can also be applied to other rodent models such as hamsters and rats. To stabilize the mouse under the microscope, some new equipment will need to be prepared. Begin by building a transparent rectangular plexiglass board to fit on the microscope stage of the microscope. Next, build a transparent pedestal from Silgard 184 poured into a petri dish to a depth of 15 millimeters. Decast the poured Silgard in a vacuum chamber for an hour to remove air bubbles and improve clarity. Cure the degassed Silgard in a 50 degrees Celsius oven for about 4 hours. Once cured, cut the pedestal into a pentagon with a rounded top. Then, secure the pedestal block to the rectangular plexiglass board with a thin layer of clear waterproof silicone adhesive.